150 watt Rexall branded Optispan street light. Now 150 watt high pressure sodium in a uh, pressure pressure die cast aluminium body. Now this one is a little different to the average Optispan with a plastic top cover. Now usually not, not always, but usually these were made uh, with the bottom cover, a bottom cover here for the PE for the uh, for the gear tray. Now on those they mount the PE cell either here or centrally in the or on the back of the fitting. But well obvious reasons this one can't be done like that I'm just having a little battle with the screw at the back here there we go now this is actually following a Sylvania type of idea here with uh, captive, uh, a captive cover now the thing with this little fellow, forget the rust. Rust doesn't always kill a ballast. It's it's checked out fine. It works perfectly. And uh, well, here we go. We got the capacitor up here for power factor correction. The igniter here which is obviously to start the lamp, the bottom of the PE cell base here, which is an ALR area lighting research uh, 240 volt model. Of course, for 240 volt operation in Australia. And these are a two-piece die cast assembly, where you can actually see the join here, where they line up. And a couple of couple of screws in underneath. Now we shall put his little cover back on. This one doesn't have its original lamp fitted, or original even original brand of light, uh, brand of lamp, I should say. Do that the easy way. Put the cover back on him. Now we shall turn him over. Sealed lamp casing, which uh, I've noticed on a lot of international street lights away from Australia, you. Uh, often don't tend to have a sealed lamp chamber but this one here there's a silicon seal that runs around the runs around the edge of the edge of the lamp assembly there of course the lamp itself a Philips 150 watt high pressure sodium lamp I don't know if you can see that etch it's a Chinese made Phillips. Hold that there for long enough, it might focus on it. At least you can get to see the, uh, the Phillips logo. Uh, E39, E40 Mogul uh, base. Nice brushed aluminium reflectors. Some of, the, some of these are actually a polished, uh, polished reflector with little dimples in them. Why the difference? I have no idea. 
I'd have to have to try and talk to the manufacturers about that one. But uh, the the fuser is removable. It does want a little bit of a clean, and that's pretty much just little bits of dirt there. The design, the uh, the fuser itself is actually designed for a maximum lamp of 250 watts. Now I've seen these lights in 250 watt mercury vapor and it is not an acrylic diffuser, it's polycarbonate. The unfortunate side of the polycarbonate diffuser with the mercury vapor lamp is they do tend to burn very readily. And it also tends to make the make the diffuser brittle. But anyhow, let's have a look at this little guy firing up, eh? Get you closer in onto the onto the lamp housing. And like a normal like any normal high pressure sodium lamp. It does start off white because the arc is, initi is actually initially struck through mercury vapour. And as the mercury vapour heats up, you can see it is now turning that nice golden orange colour. That's because the, the sodium in the lamp is now starting to vaporise through the arc stream. And, well, those of us that do know them, well, quite. Well, uh, obviously, uh, notice notice the colour changes, and know exactly what's happening to the lamp in the, in that colour change. But I'll just let him let him warm up a little, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Be back in a minute. I'm going to give him a little bit of warm up, and then uh, you're going to have a look at my dirty ceiling. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, 150 watt high pressure sodium Rexall Australia OptiSpan street light. Now, one other th one other thing about these is they've actually been brought out under four different brands. Turns out near virtually the same company, but four different brandings of them. Uh, the first branding they were brought out with was Osram. And the unique thing about the Osram OptiSpan was uh, instead of the body being a two piece assembly like this, uh, or even two piece bottom access assembly. The, uh, the Osram one was just a single one piece die cast, die cast body, bottom access with a plastic gear tray cover. Everyone since has had a metal one. And uh, when it comes out in Osram, then next along the line from I think was about 90, 1993 onwards, they brought out the main company. Uh, logo on them and branded them as GEC. Then these ones came along in the 2000, well, late 90s to early 2000s in uh, as Rexel branding and now they're being sold under uh, Sylvania branding as the Roadspan. Now this particular one was built in 2002 it's actually conveniently got a date code painted on it. But, uh, yes. Hopefully, hopefully some of you guys out there do have an appreciation for lighting the way I do. But, anyway guys, I must say thank you very much for watching. And please stay tuned for more.